Hello. In this video, we want to determine the angular momentum for a particle on a ring that has this particular eigenfunction. Now we recall that the expression for the angular momentum operator in two dimensions in quantum mechanics is going to be h bar over i d d v. So we notice, at least formally, it bears a strong resemblance to the linear momentum operator. So now we apply the angular momentum operator, j sub z, to psi. So we get h bar over i d d phi times n e to the i m sub l phi. We can pull constants through the differential operator. So we get n times h bar over i. And then the actual derivative inside is going to be i times m sub l times e to the i m sub l phi. <coughs> and we notice that I's cancel I's, so I drop out there, and we're left with M sub L times H bar, all times, N E to the I, M sub L, phi. We notice two things. The expression in green is simply our eigenfunction returned, and the expression in front, m sub l h bar is our angular momentum. So it shows that the angular momentum for a particle on a ring wave function, n times e to the i m sub l phi, where m sub l is an integer, is going to be simply m sub l h bar. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.